Hey guys, so I want to start off this video by fixing something you guys pointed out. Uh, I was wondering about why I was getting a capital C uh, when this was compiled to TypeScript. And this is in our common source uh, index.ts uh, package. And that's because I put a capital C there. So thank you guys for pointing that out to me. And we can now fix that. And now whenever we compile our common package, it should be the correct spelling and capitalization. So what I want to get into today is setting up this controller class. So we talked about how we are going to do this, where we have a connector, a view, and a controller. So we set up the view, which in this case is a form, um, and we have our connector, and we are going to be setting up the controller. So what the controller is going to do is it's going to have this submit function in it. It's going to pass it to connector, and connector is going to pass it to our view. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to create a new package, and I'm going to call this controller. Um, and now this is something where we could put it in common, for example. So again, this is another thing where we want to share the controllers between the app and the uh, website. So we want to put this in a shared location. And the reason why I'm putting this in its own package called controller, instead of, for example, putting inside common, is because only the app and the website need it. The server doesn't need any React code, any React controllers. So there's no reason for the server to import controller. So if we put the code into common, um, we basically are just blending things because common is what we want to have as a package that the server, the website, and the app all use. So that's why I'm choosing to create a new one. And for that, um, we can just CD into there. So I'm going to create a new terminal cd into packages uh, and then controller and similar to when we were setting up common we're going to initialize this and then I'm going to copy the ts config that we're using for the website and the ts lint file paste both of those in and then I'm going to create a source directory inside of source I'm going to create an index.ts um, and this is going to act like exactly the same thing of how common works. So index.ts is going to export all the things. Um, and I can create a new folder. We can call it modules if we wanted to, um, or whatever you want to name, just like the folder of controllers. And I'm going to create a new folder called register controller. Um, and inside register controller, I'm going to call this index.ts. And I'm going to create a, uh, oh. And this is, I want to put JSX in this or uh, React code, so we need to rename this properly. I'm going to call this register controller. And for now, we'll just return a div hello from controllers. So I just want to see if we can render this on our website. Um, we need to add uh, React as a dependency to our controller package. Um, and then our index, we're going to export all from modules slash register controller. Um, so this is something I don't know if all of you realize. So notice we don't actually have a uh, module called register controller. It's register controller index.js or tsx. Um, you don't have to do this. So you don't have to actually say register controller slash index. Um, it, this is shorthand and is equivalent version of that. So that's fine to just write it like that. All right, so we have this. We have our export. Let's go ahead and install React. And we need to install some other things as well. If we look at our package.json, um, we can check out what dependencies. So React DOM as well. React DOM. And I don't think there's anything else we need off uh, at the very beginning. We also need to install some uh, TypeScript types, but we'll do that in a second. Uh, we'll let that resolve. And in our package.json, we also need to, uh, similar to how we did with common, give it a name and also version and specify the main and the typings. So let's copy that and we can put inside of this. All right, so I'm gonna call this uh, ab slash controller and we'll get rid of that. All right, so we have dist index.js, dist index.d.ts, 
In our tsconfig, let's make sure we have the out directory specified. So instead of build slash dist, I'm just going to call this dist. And I guess the rest of it is fine. We'll see when we actually compile it. Um, so the other things we need is some TypeScript types. So we're going to say yarn add, and these are dev dependencies. So we can come over here. So let's go ahead and add uh, node and type slash react and the react dom. And then we also need tslint and uh, TypeScript. And we need, um, so there should actually be another dependency, which I think we add to common, and that's the tslint config prettier. So tslint config prettier. All right, and then when those are done installing, I think we're good to just enter package.json, compile this out to the disk directory, and then uh, actually import this in our website. So let's go ahead and add a script. Um, I guess we'll put it at the top. I'm gonna call it build, and it's just going to compile the code. So let's go ahead and just run that and see if it does go ahead and build without error. And no implicit dependencies. It looks like it built it okay. I think I just need to, and now yeah, we can do it like that. Restart the TypeScript uh, server. All right, it doesn't seem like that's doing anything. I don't know why this is complaining. I think it's all right though. I'm gonna ignore it for now. All right, so I wanna go ahead and uh, all right, so this looks like our JS. So I want to use this in our website over here. So a package.json, similar to how we uh, added a common as a dependency, we also want to add the controller. And because we added that, we need to do yarn install. And I don't know if we can do yarn install inside of this directory. I'm just going to go to the top level and say yarn install there. All right, so inside of our register connector now, I'm going to import, I'm gonna put it below that, and we're gonna be importing from the controller. So this is gonna be register controller. And I guess for now, uh, we can just render both of them. So I'm gonna say react.fragment and we're going to render the register controller. And this should just say, I believe we said like hi or something. All right, yeah, so I think we just need to restart the server for that. And let's go see if our server is up and running. All right, so npm types could not find declaration file for it. Okay, so I think. What well, went wrong there is in our controller, uh, we didn't actually emit declaration files. So we need to in our compiler options. So we did this with common, but we didn't add it here. Is so we need to say declaration true. So now when we build it over here, say the yarn build, oh, we need to be inside of the controller. And you can double check this if we go to our controller. Um, oh, allow JS cannot be an option with declaration. All right, we don't want to allow JS. So we can remove that. And also in my package.json, I can add yarn add as a dev dependency rimraf. That way we can kill the old dist and uh, do the same command we have over here. So copy that from our uh, common package.json. Paste it over here. And so whenever this is done installing, so it is, we're just gonna say yarn build. And I think we can just yarn install after this and it should update. So let's double check our uh, dist folder. Um, it looks like we have a dist inside of dist. I think something got messed up. I'm gonna just delete it and rebuild it. All right, so now it looks better, and make sure you see an index.d.ts in there, uh, which I do, so we're good. So over here, we should be able to now use it in our, our project. 
Um, so I'm going to do yarn install and we'll see if it actually all right so everything's up to date so in that case what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill my own node modules um, and then it should yep reinstall stuff and then yep over here is fine so after all this stuff gets uh, worked out uh, what we're going to do is take this submit function and actually use it inside of our controller all right, so we'll see if this uh, boots up over here. We'll give it a second. So in our controller, um, index.ts, we are gonna create a submit function. And this is going to actually call the mutation. For now, I want to just console log uh, the values and make sure this all works. So we can copy, we can just copy this whole function. And I'm gonna just call it submit. Um, all right, so it looks like it built, and we see hello from controllers. Okay, cool. So we were able to successfully uh, use our React component from a different package. So now we're gonna make this register controller slightly more useful. So this is going to be a rendered prop where it's gonna pass a function down. So how it's gonna work is this. So our register controller is going to wrap, so register controller, it's going to wrap our register view and it is going to take a function. So this function has some arguments, x, and it's going to return a register view. And one of the arguments in here, so we can destructure it, is going to be submit. And we're going to just pass submit right on to here. So this is what we're going to set up in our register controller right now uh, to be able to pass something as an argument and then have that get uh, passed to register view. So in our controller over here we have the submit. So now I want to pass this submit over to that function you saw over here so that that submit is this submit. To do this what we're going to do is we're going to say this.props.children and we're going to call it as a function. So when you call this.props.children as a function, um, it allows you to do exactly this. So your children are now a function. So this, these are the children of register controller, and here's our function. And you passed as a parameter to that function, right, uh, an object that has submit in it. So now we can use this submit object here. So that's how that's working. Now we have to get stuff to work and look nice for your TypeScript. So what we have to do is our inner props we have to specify this so we now have a function um, called children um, and how it works is we have some data and here we're going to specify what data and that's going to return a jsx dot element or it could just return null and inside of here we're going to specify our submit function so this function takes um, values, which is of type any, and it returns for now null. That's all it returns. And it returns a promise of null. So we'll update this at some point, because we maybe want to return an actual error. Uh, but this is the type of this. And let's see if I messed up. Did you mean? Yes, I did. So submit is going to be this.submit. So that, that, that makes TypeScript happy now. So we specified the type of our children over here, that it's going to be uh, a function that has values any, let's spell it correctly, and it's going to return a promise of null. So now we can rebuild this. Head over here. And in our connector over here, uh, we should get a type, uh, we should be able to see what the type of this submit function is if everything works properly. And this is another thing where it's built and okay, so it looks good over there. So you, you see you constantly have to uh, restart the TypeScript server as you're doing this. Um, and we can should get type annotation and the type annotation will be whatever we specify here. All right, so we can see exactly that values any as promise and we can get rid of this dummy submit now 
And so now if I do, we'll let that refresh. If I type a good email and a good password and I hit register, we see console.log and we see uh, the stuff. But notice we submitted this from our register controller instead of our connector. So that is it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys how we can move this to a different package. And this is the package that we're gonna be sharing across the app and the website. So the logic that we're gonna put in submit now is to actually fire off, instead of just logging, the register mutation. Um, and so that's what we'll be doing in the next video. So that's it for now, I'll see you next time.